Okay, so one little trick that we like to do makes life a lot easier, much, much easier, is uh, Jessica likes to prepare. See, I could say like we, but it's actually Jessica who does it. But uh, <laughs> whenever I say we, it usually means me and Jessica, which usually means just Jessica. Uh, anyways, <laughs> makes life a lot easier if you prepare some of your vegetables ahead of time. So you can actually prepare like a whole week's worth of broccoli or a whole week's worth of cauliflower in one session. You blend it up, you put it in your fridge, it's more compact and you can just throw it with whatever meal you want. Or if you're gonna take your meals to go, you just bring it in a Tupperware or whatever with you. So um, yeah, nice little, little hack to save time and uh, get nutrient dense food in every day and make sure you have lots of fiber and greens every single day is to bulk prepare your vegetables. Very easy, very simple. Even I could do it if Jessica didn't do it for me. She wants to kick me right now, so I gotta go. Making some broccoli. All right, so teaching our friend our quick and easy way that we make vegetables throughout the week. Our friend who's now a bachelor, <laughs> whose who's, who's usual food preparers are gone. We're showing him how to make a bunch of broccoli one time so that he doesn't have to do it again for like a whole week. Right, bro? Uh huh. <laughs> what so, I do, I chop up the broccoli. I use. I'll show you here. I use part of the stem, I use the florets, and I use the leaves. Chop it all up. Kind of everything. There you go. So then here's like, here's the rest of the batch. And this is like two heads of broccoli. How much do you think this all weighs in your experience actually weighing food? About a kilo? Maybe like a whole. Less than a kilo, like 800. Maybe like 900 grams, 800 grams. So estimated like one kilo of broccoli. Yeah. So if you were going to have 100 or 200 grams of broccoli, this could be like 5 to 10 meals, depending. Yep. So if you make this one time, you blend it up, you keep it in the refrigerator, you don't have to make greens for like a whole week. It's awesome. Well, he doesn't want to ever make greens. <laughs> we're just kind of brainwashing into eating them. <laughs> right, Ariana? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to boil your broccoli really hard. You don't need to actually cook it that much. Just kind of simmer it, right? Simmer it, yeah. It's steaming right now, essentially. You can tell that the color is changing already. So it's almost done. How, do you, how can you tell when it's done? How can you tell when it's done? You, you taste it, you should try it, yeah. you just have to know. Well, it's like you could eat broccoli dense. raw, so it all depends on how you like it, right? Like if you like, if you like it a little bit al dente, you exactly. just cook it less. If you like it more soft, you cook it more. Exactly, and you're pulsing this in the food processor, so it becomes a really fine chunk anyway. Yeah. So, so actually, this part is the least important, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, so you're doing cauliflower too, right? I am. You're we do it like, in a separate pot, but the same method, chop and steam, lightly simmer it. Cauliflower is just like an albino broccoli, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's a totally like, different taste though. Do you think cauliflowers are like racist because they're white? There's a lot I'm of there's the a same. lot of talk about like white privilege. Do you think that that this cauliflower has white privilege? Absolutely. I don't want to get into this is too deep. This is too deep for the internet. We don't want to get into this. Got bulk food, bulk bulk vegetables for the entire week. Look at that, it looks so cool when the steam comes out. So our friend Rod here is not going to really have to make any vegetables this week. He's extra stoked. He doesn't really want me to film him either, <laughs> but it's okay. okay. So our broccoli is done. I can start to smell it. That's usually how I know it's done. Looking good. So now what? Now I'll just strain it out, let it cool, and then food process it, pulse it a little bit with some herbs and spices. People could use a blender too, right? They don't have to yeah. do a food processor. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so once it steams, completed the steaming, now just put it in the food processor. Mesquite seasoning. Got a whole bunch of, got garlic, onion, mesquite, oh, sea salt, God. chipotle, black pepper, paprika, just all kinds of stuff. How much are you going to put in there? A big pinch, just probably about... Between a teaspoon and two, depending on how much broccoli you have, depending on how strong your spices are. What about salt? Some of that, the salt's right here. Little Some little nice sea salt. salt. Another pinch. Two pinches. There we go. And then I just pulse it to a fine crumbly texture. Pulse it to a fine crumbly texture. 
Begin pulsing. Pulsing complete. <laughs> Alright, so there it is, finished product. Whole bunch of that. Got some more in the bowl there. This is about half of it. This is like half a kilo of broccoli right here, steamed up, ground up. It's, you don't even need to chew this stuff. <laughs> Just put it in your mouth and swallow it. Super fast food. And then you've got your portions for the week. You can divide that into like five different portions or just put it all in the fridge together and portion it out as you please each meal. For our friend who we're helping out right now, he doesn't really, it doesn't really matter, you know, portion size and whatnot. He's just going to eat intuitively. So he just keep this all in the fridge and scoop it out into each one of his meals so he's healthy needs. Okay, so Jessica just finished with the cauliflower. I'm really into the cauliflower one because when you blend it up very fine, it turns into like a mash potato. Like, like a really, mashed potato. Yeah, you can get it really creamy. You can actually, she added a little bit of butter and some sea salt and some spices to this one, but it's like mashed potatoes. It was super low carb. I don't know, it's, for me, it's better than mashed potatoes. But here it is. It's garlic, herbs de Provence, salt and pepper, and a tablespoon or two of butter. And just food processed up into a fine mashed substance. So, yep, that's it. We'll show you the finished product when it's all packaged and ready to get put in the fridge for the week. All right, so here's the cauliflower, almost like mashed potatoes type thing. There's two cloves of garlic, right, Jessica? Two cloves? Mm -hmm. two cloves. Two cloves of garlic, maybe a teaspoon of herbs de Provence, and how many, how much cauliflower do you think there is? Maybe about a pound of cauliflower? Yeah. Maybe like 500 grams of cauliflower and about 100 grams of butter for this whole thing. Very, very good. Super delicious. And salt and pepper. Salt and pepper as well. A yeah, little bit of bite. Portion it out with your protein or fat source. And, um, and there you go. You don't have to prepare your vegetables. All right. Here it is. About a kilo of broccoli. Maybe half kilo of cauliflower. All done up. Ready. How long will this last, Jessica? How long this, will this is probably like how long will it keep? About five days. I would, I would try to eat it within five days. All right, five days worth of food right there for Ron. We'll see if he actually enjoys broccoli and cauliflower at the end of the week. <laughs>